Hey guys, Ogi Sanch here and welcome to the channel. If you guys like Lost Ark as much as I do, you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on everything Lost Ark as I do plan on covering Lost Ark for the foreseeable future. So with that out the way, let's hop straight into today's video. So I want to talk to you guys about the Max Roll Honing Calculator as they did recently update it like two days after I put a video up about it to actually use the calculator and use it and figure it out. They went and updated the calculator and changed completely and let me be honest right now i do not like the new one but anyway let's just hop straight into it and i'll show you guys how this abomination of a calculator works now so i actually don't understand 100 percent, but i have figured out how to actually just figure out the values so you can see what materials you'll need they have tried to integrate the last arc market online which is a nice little website over there i've actually been meaning to make a video about this for a while it just shows you the prices of everything and like the upwards and downwards trends of it and stuff like that like how much it cost recently and there's the update this one over here that's actually a little bit different mine's like 28 gold right now mine server but it is two hours ago but anyway that is there and i think that is prompted for the whole change in this is why they're trying to like integrate it into the system but let me show you guys how to do it right now so for example let's see my paladin right now he is 1400 so I want to work out how I'm going to get him to 1415 and I'm going to do the old trick where you get all of your armor pieces to plus 12 and then you get one of uh, two of your armor pieces to plus 17. That's actually the cheapest way to do it and my weapon I think I need to get it to plus 12 as well um, but yeah so we're going to work out how much it's going to cost me to upgrade two of my armor pieces from plus 12 to plus 17 and then the weapon to plus 12 to then push me to 1415. So let's have a look at the calculator. So what you actually have to do now, for example, we want to get two plus 17 pieces, right? So you would think you're just going to put in there two in the count. But when you put that in, you see it's only going to cost 213 grand on the leaps, 9,000 and 3,000 gold and 9,000 guardian stones. Now, I wish the prices were actually like that. I wish it was that cheap and that easy to push them. But that is actually incorrect how you do it over there. So you actually need to put in individually what you want to upgrade so say for example our armor pieces both of them are plus 12 right so we want to go plus 13 on two armor pieces and then 14 on two armor pieces two armor pieces two armor pieces you have to put in on each individual tap how many armor pieces so if you were doing this the old or if you're doing this like the legit way where you go from plus one to plus 15 on all five pieces of armor you'd have to put there five 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 in all of this all the way up to plus 15 to then actually be plus 15 and then what did we say my weapon as well i wanted to get my weapon is plus 11 so i want to get it to plus 12 so i put count there one so we got one weapon to plus 12. and now if we look at the prices over there that looks much more realistic than what it should be 644 grade on the leaps uh 28,000 guardian stones 21,000 destruction oh no actually not 21,000 2100 destruction uh 419 arrears 92 harmony shards almost 10,000 gold and almost 2.3 million silver so that is how you actually go about doing it you just have to put them in each individually over there per armor piece that you want to upgrade so oh, that one actually went up because of my mouse wheel but yeah you can do that scroll through it like that and then this obviously up the top they have added in the argo select now and then t3 lower so this only goes to plus 15 so this is actually reached 13 and 70 item level so if you get a new character into t3 easy way to work out is you just put five in all of these so let me show you guys as an example because you will be doing them five 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 so it is a little bit slower now i actually prefer the old calculator but anyway this is what we got so that is the cost over there that you're looking at and then obviously a weapon we're going to only upgrade one weapon to plus 15 because this you have to get to plus 15 to get it to 1370 so there if we look at the price about 389 on a leaps about 9400 crystals uh 3100 destructions almost 200 arrears 46,000 harmony shards almost 4,000 gold and 2 million silver so that's more or less what it's going to cost you then to push a alt from freshly into t what is it t3 up to 1370 and these are here i don't actually know what this changes i've been playing around with it if we go back to the argos gear and then it is all selected you see the price is there 644 on the on the great honors and if we actually take all of this off Let's reduce all of these things over here. And then we go, where's it? Recalculate. So it was 644, now it's 726. So it goes up. I'm not actually sure what that means. Maybe it's like if you're going to use books or not. 
Yeah, I don't see the books being there anymore. Let's put the books back. With, let's just put the two signature tails back. And then we'll go recalculate. Yeah, I did drop those down. Okay, so I think that's what that actually does over there. Is by adding this, it will actually put it on. Because it is on optimal materials right now. So it will be telling you to actually use some of these books. I also suggest using these books when you own your alts now. Those books have dropped substantially in price. They're really cheap. And it seems like over there, so 16 in total. Use two at level seven, uh, two at level eight. Wait, we haven't even put in anything over there. So there's 13, 14, and 15. Over there's six, five, five. So that's like almost, a, oh, that's the 16 already. So that's how you should use it. You should be using five on those two armor pieces at that point, at that point, and then at that point, and then a little bit sooner as well, it looks like it. Maybe that's if you're actually holding them fast or higher than that. But it seems like that is what that does on the Armony Shards. Well, let's recalculate and let's just add the Armony Shards right now. Then recalculate. Uh, these actually didn't change. Uh, went from 92. What if we take them off and we recalculate again? Does this drop? No, that stays the same. And then the Rears and the Destruction the Guardians and the Greater Leaps. We can just add them all and recalculate. Okay, that seems to stay the same more or less. So it seems like only the juicing materials actually really affects it. So it seems like that is what it does, guys. If you click that over there, it's going to show you how much uh, juice materials you should be adding. And honestly, you should be honing with these if you've got them bound. If they're like very overpriced right now. So let's see solar protection. I'll actually go look in game real quick. I believe they are pretty expensive, but you can get them from Cube and a lot of other things as well for a week. Solar protection. Yeah, 168 gold. I would not buy those only if you've got them bound go ahead and use them it doesn't make too much of a huge difference so let's just go no additional materials yeah 726 it's about a 60 difference or so 60 to 70 difference being great on a leap stones but anyway guys that is how the new calculator works just input the pieces there one by one as you're upgrading them like i showed you before on the 1370 as well since you will be doing all five pieces all the way to plus 15, you have to put them in individually there. That's a little bit boring. So you have to like pick the thing. Or what you can do is just type in the numpad. That's what I do. It's a lot faster like that. And then it shows you the values at the top there. And then if you want, you can try and put in the whatever server you're on. I'm on North America East. And you can import the prices and then show material value. And then it like shows you the gold value, I guess, per tap or so. Or like. That doesn't seem right maybe i don't know how the gold value works so if you guys know how the gold value works leave down below in the comments and teach me how it works maybe we can make another video about finalizing this whole calculator thing finally but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you found this video helpful and it helps you out please drop a like and a subscribe to the channel it helps me out so much and i'll catch you guys in the next one okay sand out run free and dive into the sky Hear the wind. Crying